Wakurugenzi juzi sana juzi maeneo za room kuna kisa kimefanyika pale kimewashangaza wengi So apparently jamaa na bibi yake bana wamekorofishana mbaya sana kwa nyumba wamefikishana mwisho in fact the very last time eh, waliongea rembo alichukua suitcase akatoka akasema i would rather die than return to this household na rembo akaenda Of course ndume yako hapo anajiambia ah hii kierere wanakuaga tu nayo. Atasikia njaa saa nane arudi. Oh saa nane jioni kesho kesho kutwa. Mrembo arudi. Eh ikakuwa cause for concern. So jamaa akatoka akaenda police station akaenda akaripoti akasema kuna kierere nakaaga nayo hapa kwa nyumba na ali threaten kuenda na walai ni kama ameenda for aja wai fanya hivyo hii ni mara ya kwanza na ameenda kuenda. So nilikuwa tunataka mnisaidie kumtafuta sababu <laughs> at the end of the day ni mtu napenda siwezi kaa bila please mniletee tu huyo mtu yangu So of course makara wakaingia shughuli zao wakapiga piga manini wanawaparate na picha hapa na pale ni nini wakatupatiana maripoti kwa hospitali ma mog ma what not kila kitu Before long jamaa akapata that dreaded phone call from the city mog kambi waniaje kuna mrembo unamekuwa ukitafuta na ile description tulipewa including the clothes ambazo mrembo alikuwa amevaa tuko na mwili hapa na amevaa hivyo hivyo so tunaomba tu ukuje eh ucheki cheki u confirm bas tufunge story so of course jamaa alikuwa very disappointed ametoka mtaa akaenda mpaka kwa mog wakaenda wakamuingiza pale ndani wakatoa ile body kaiwekelea fiti kwa meza jamaa kaiangalia akaona ya nguo ni hizo kini sura ai no eh oh ni wewe kweli I, i don't think so no ni kama huyu maremu ni msupu kiasi kuliko bibi yangu i don't think wakaambia inakuwaga hivyo mtu akisha dead anarembeka deadly mm ni yeye ume confirm nguo nguo kabisa ni zake lakini sura kidaga ah ni yeye ni yeye mtu usibishane na, na maiti ni yeye Jamaa kaona okay kama ni ukweli mtu akikufa na kuwa mrembo hii design okay ni sawa haina mambo ka, lipa kile alikuwa analipa hapo akachukua mwili yake sawa sawa akapeleka nyumbani before akosane na bibi bibi alikuwa amemwambia in the event that nitakuacha uhakikishe nimezikwa na wedding gown yangu safi so jamaa kampeleka nyumbani akamtoa zile nguo alikuwa nazo kaenda akachukua wedding gown pale kwa eh, eh, wardrobe kamvalisha vizuri ya organize mazishi hapo haraka haraka bas na mazishi ikafanyika of course hiyo mazishi ikawekwa kwa gazeti eh, watu wa mtaa wajue vile kumeendelea hii gazeti inapata nani aya inapata mrembo fulani amekaa tu huko anafungua gazeti anashangaa wait a minute chali yangu amenizika aje aje ah wait ini nguo ay 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 funga gazeti teke teke tafuta namna fika mpaka kwa mjamaa akapata jamaa yuko akamngoja hapo very patiently jamaa anatoka shughuli zake anapata aya <laughs> modo ndio huyo ameketi hapo namuuliza oya rada akamwambia eh mti wangu nilikuzika siku tatu zimeisha saa hii eh jo nilikuwa najua umeenda tushamalizana hata uko kwa ground as we speak a a a hata mimi kuzikwa si shida swali yangu nataka kukuuliza ni moja Wedding gown yangu iko wapi wewe? Si nilikuzika nayo. Nilikuzika nayo muda, iko kwa ground. Twende ucheki iko kwa ground, huko tu sawa vile tu tulipanga ndio nimefanya. My friend, turns out mwili ilipatikana ni coincidence tu alikuwa amevaa the same clothes na huyu wakati alipotea. Eh it, it was the wrong person clearly. Hawahitaji college education kujua by now walizika mtu wrong. So ikabidi waende wafukue mtu wamurudishe kwa mog na as we speak the guy is suing the city mog sababu ya hizo expenses zote ya meinka kuzika huyo mtu. Yeah, so wana anadai watu 100 dollars. Sijio in euros ni how much. Yeah, but ni something there about. Yeah. Strange things do happen in this universe. Hi boss, twelve cars.
<laughs> so one, that's a good question be mkuru. I 100 dollars wana su ni ni ile pesa li spend kwa mazishi na mama dam alisema hiyo gauni imefukuliwa ataki. Anataka ingine. Ndio kwa maana county inasuiwa. But 100 dollars. 100 dollars. Kurugenzi, ha <laughs> ha, my man, come a cow, come a dawa. If you see him, Kurugenzi in the building, you just know he's got the juice, man. Ah, na juice ya leo ni atari. Mume itisha mbaya. Nikadiambia kama nyenyi mo na idai. Nani ana pinga? Bona tu si lete kwa meza. Wacha tu ilete. Ah, leo wadao nataka ni wapeleke moja kwa moja. Mpaka S of A. South Africa South Africa No zimenye babaji okay yes apo Siku ni tarehe 3 May 2022 Location Mangang Prison ambayo iko mahali panaitwa Bloemfontein I should think so Kama nimekosea ni, ni correcting ni hapo kwa comments Now Mangang Prison is a public private partnership Uh, between the South African government and a very very big security company ambayo mnaijua sana inaitwa G4S. So what happened ni G4S walitengeneza bonge la maximum prison wakaambia South Africa msijali au wafungwa wakiwa hapa wako safi. Hakuna ki unescapable. Hakuna mtu anaweza jitoa hapa. So mkishika watu na mnashindwa mahali pa kuwapeleka worry not you know why because we got you. Waleteni hapa tutawekea salama. So hapa ndani ya prison kulikuwa na 100 criminal amewekwa pale sababu ya counts numerous counts of rape one murder under his belt na extortion kibao na wizi kwa wingi the name of this gentleman was Tabo Besta Tabo Besta alikuwa pale ndani eh, kuanzia mnamo 20 12 2012 alikuwa amegonga pale miaka kumi ndani on this particular night in uh, 3rd of may ile cell ambaye alikuwa amewekwa kidogo kidogo moshi kaanza kuonekana inatoka huko before wale magads waanze kujipanga panga wajue ni nini na happen pale kwa ile cell fulani ambayo tumeweka tabo besta the cell was up in place moto big deadly imewaka kuwaka imechacha mbaya sana so by the time ma cops wajipange pange waende watafute ma extinguisher wakuje mazee wa extinguish moto ambayo imewaka hapa kwa cell it was too late eh, moto wakati wali deal nayo walipata kila kitu ni chard and the chard remains of one tabo besta under his mattress i think alikuwa amejiwekelea ile mattress ajaribu kujifunika nayo ni nini nini kabla tuendelee na history wa dao wacha nitukule pause hapo kidogo nataka niwatoe hapo niwapeleke ile mwaka nilizaliwa 1986 1986 nikizaliwa 3 months ago mzee mzima tabo besta alikuwa amezaliwa pale South Africa huyu ni mtoto alizaliwa tu hivi alitoka tu kwa tumbo hivi daktari akamuinua juu akaambia mama yake hii ni mangaa huyu ni mtu atakusumbua sana utashangaa sababu tabo besta alianza uhalifu akiwa mtoto mdogo sana at age 4 alishaingia kwa nyumba pale na stack a word of notes e, akaulizwa na mzazi umetoa wapi hii kitu akasema nimepewa e, na mama fulani hapa kutoka na mzazi kwenda kwa huyo mama mama ndio ana discover saa hiyo ameibiwa hata hako amejua age 4 Age 5 besta ameingia kwa nyumba sijui nani akapata wale watu wanaekanga ma coins kwa kajaa fulani hapo. Ai akachangamka na coins mbaya sana. A whole jar. Eh alikuwa ni 
Itapeli hodari, hatari, aliwasumbua mbaya sana. Na unaona hizi ni forma TV ya eh? So by the time Tabo Besta anafika huko ma 17, 18, haa, community ilifraya. Alikuwa mewapepeta deadly. Now, by the time Tabo Besta ako, I'm talking about 2000 and, 2007, So that's that's 21 there about. Tabo akakuja akadiscover kitu safi. Alikuja akaform aka, akaunda ka agency. Hii agency kazi yake ni ku recruit models, alafu anawa hook up na ma, sorry, na corporate entities wakwe kama influencers. At the time hapa tunaongelea actually not even 21, it was probably 19. Huko ni around 2005, eh, Facebook ishashika eh Facebook ilianza to for so South Africa by 205 Facebook ilikuwa shashi kafiti so stories are influencing zilikuwa kidogo ndio anazi introduce huko very brilliant fellow this guy so what used to happen ni alikuwa anatokea ana katia katia tusichana hapo anawaambia ni aje mini agent fulani nitakuunganisha na job fit sana uta ah, uta utaingia kwa macheda as well utafurahi so kile tutafanya itabidi tupige photoshoot na wewe hizo picha zako ndio nitasubmit pale kwa ile kampuni ile kampuni most definitely watakupenda na watakuita wakufanya, wakufanya nini wakupatie kazi mimi ndio agent wako ndakuwa tunakula percentage yako kidogo tu 20% hata simu 80 ni yako of course mademo kiske hivyo wanasikia yes this is it this is the life twende kazi so tabu besta anaenda anawapeleka mahali atini photoshoot oh hakuna photoshoot anawatandika anawarob na anazidi so tabu alifanya hii kitu until around 20 2009 there about yes so 2009 Eh, mambo yake ikuenda sawa i think at some point ali rob mtu mtu akaweza kumu identify nini kidogo kidogo tabo besta akawaiwa kadandiwa na makops wakapeleka mjamaa kotini sababu hizo issues zote za uh, robbery na aggravated assault nini wakaamua kumpiga miaka tatu ndani hata hiyo sentence ilikuwa very lenient if you ask me but wakampiga miaka tatu ndani alikuwa anafaa ingie ndani 2009 atoke 2000 and, uh, 12 but wakiwa huko ndani i think jamaa aka exhibit good behavior na huko jela ukiwa na mtu wa good behavior kidogo sentence yako waga ina inapunguzwa kiasi so in 2011 tabo besta was out now you think after kuingia jela tabo besta ni mtu atakaa chini ya jite mkutano ajiambie you know what hii life nimekuwa nikiishi haiwezi wacha tu nione mkono wa bwana na nifuate muangaza niendelee ku spread injili Oh not Tabo Besta. In fact, ali elevates. Eh eh. So last time alikuwa anadanganya danganya wasichana wasichana hapa na to photoshoot hivi hivi mnaenda kupiga kwa studio fulani Roy Sambo. No, hiyo sasa imeisha. Sasa ni next level. Tunataka tudanganya hawa wasichana ndio, lakini we will make it so yani amazing. Hakuna mtu anaweza to resist sasa. So Tabo Besta akaanza ku forge ma checks hizi checks anaenda napatiana kwa charter eh, airline charters air, aircraft charter companies eh anaenda anawaandikia check safi hapo anachukua private jet anaokota wasichana huko deadly anataka kuwapeleka hizi ma photoshoot anawa fly to another city wanaenda sasa hiyo ame hire using uh, pseudonyms ameenda ame hire mpaka uh, shooting equipment na what not nini nini anachukua kila mtu anawapeleka kwa city ingine uh, of course hakuna photoshoot na happen ni robbery atari alafu hizo vitu wamechukua of course ndege ya lipi si ameweka eh, jina wrong kwa check hiyo hiyo imeenda hivyo hizi equipment amehaya kwenda ku shoot si amepatiana majina wrong ai mtu yangu hizo zinaingia dukani straight so alikuwa anatandika ma models anawaibia anaiba hizi ma equipment zenye amehaya na hii chata amebebwa free of charge like u jamaa alienda next level deadly So kwa hizo pilka pilka zake za kuchota chota wasichana kuwadanganya na photoshoot nini nini sasa ikaacha kukuwa ni robbery peke yake sasa ikaanza kukuwa ni rape robbery alafu the rest na follow equipment zinapotea huko watu wa airline kidogo wana discover wamegongwa but unaona anaendelea tu kuingia deeper 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 I think ali rape wasichana kama watatu wanne watano hivi siko sure but it was a couple of chicks Then 
in 2011 akakutana na msichana anaitwa Nomfundo. Now, how did Bester and Nomfundo meet? Bester by 2011 mambo yake ilikuwa swafi, shwari, kila kitu A1. Kachin chin. Pesa inaingia kwa account deadly vile inafaa. So of course akisha gather pesa enough si atataka kakitu kakuwatesa pale kwa street. Ehe. Na ni nini better kutesa watu kama kushinda BMW? Wakati yuko kwa flatbed hiyo gari inaweza kusaidia mbaya sana iton. Hiyo <laughs> gari nakwambia ikiwa haiko kwa flatbed ni gari inaweza kusaidia kuwachota mbaya sana. So Turbo Best anaingia kwa Kayad, anapata no mfundo pale ndio sales, uh, sales sales agent pale anamuongelesha anamwambia niaje point me to the direction of the car that will make them go gigi gaga. Anaambiwa mtu wangu look no further. Uh, ndio BMW safi hapa. So best anaingia kwenye BMW, anapiga test kidogo, anasikiza anasema yes, this is it. This is exactly what I want. Na waenda wanamalizana hapo haraka haraka. Believe it or not, best anatoa pesa yake ananunua igari. Najua mnao ngoje hapo kusikia wewe oh, alienda na ga. Ah! Alienda akalipa vizu kabisa. Upfront kila kitu akapatiwa kifunguo na gari bata kutoka na kifunguo na gari peke yake alitoka na kifunguo na gari na nani no mfundo bas and hapo ndio relationship yao ilianzia Tabo best ana no mfundo mambo ilikuwa you know a bed of roses for some time i don't think hata miezi tatu ziliisha kidogo kidogo maze of course kwa relationship kuko sana uaga ikosekani kidogo kidogo jo mjamaa shanza ku exhibit tabia zingine za kichakani kichakani oi before you know it wamempeleka amepeleka no mfundo kwa one of the bed and breakfast uh, somewhere in uh, Uh, Sikumbuki ni state ni city gani but huko tu bado ese wameingia pale ndani wakiwawili but Tabo Best anatoka akiwa peke yake nini me happen waliingia kwa argument wakiwa huko ndani akaingia kwa kitchen akachukua kisu and he proceeded to stab her multiple times no mfundo dies in that uh, bed and breakfast So of course uh, it doesn't take long for the authorities kujua wait a minute 1 uh, plus 1 2 plus 2 Tabo Best no mfundo aha aha huo ndio suspect wetu wakaenda wakamshika vizuri sana na the guy hata kubishana in fact I'll admit akasema ya yeah, things got out of hand eh, kulikuwa na kisu karibu na nikajipata tu ime happen so take take eh, tabo besta anaingizwa kotini na jaja kuna huruma anampiga 25 to life in fact ni life alipigwa life yake safi I think uh, kulikuwa na possibility ya parole I think after 25 years. Uh, but uh, Tabo Besta in 2012 was sentenced to life. Na hapo ndio Tabo Besta alianza uh, maisha yake mpya at Mangam Prison in uh, Bloemfontein. As Tabo Besta ako huko ndani anasukuma maisha. Kumbe kuna daktari fulani influenza Ah wamenukia na mbaya. Deadly sana. Like the whole of South Africa knows this doctor ni Dr. Flani anaitwa Nandipa. Nandipa ni kadoki flani hapo kasupu sana uaga wanakatumia kutumia ku influence ma vitu nini nini ana all the qualities of a model. So kidogo kidogo ni kama kwa ile biashara ya Tabo Besta walikutana at some point but uh, he was good to Nandipa Nandipa ka fall in love. Na wakaendelea na relationship as Tabo Besta was where in prison. Awa se tabo besta akiwa ndani wale pool ma miracles huko. These people in fact nani palienda akafungua a, you'd call it an agency or a production company that does also does agency work. Eh na hii production company the owner ilikuwa ni tabo besta na ye. lakini tabo besta pale hajiiti tabo besta sababu ye itachoma. Watu watajua huyu ni jangili criminal wako wapi ya komanga ndani. So akakam na Elias akajiita Tom Motepe. Hiyo jina actually ni jina ya tycoon fulani huko ese eh, the Motepe name. So akajiita akajiita na yeye so mtu angefikiria maybe huyu ni the son of this billionaire sababu the motepe the, the, the guru alikuwa anajulikana so akaran na hiyo jina deadly somehow alikuwa na access ya masuti ya kiuko jela alikuwa anapiga gama half court fulani hapo na katai anasimama kwa ukuta ya white wanapiga ma zoom meetings huko mbaya hiyo time zika ilikuwa ni zoom ilikuwa ime, na iko ime but video calls at the time wanazipiga deadly in fact wana 
Ai alikuwa mpaka mavitu zikihapenuko kwa nini e, job ikihapen hapa um, sorry kwa hii agency e, na yeye ana file pane somehow checks zake ana sign na kidogo pesa inatoka so anyone working for this agency ama in this agency alikuwa kabisa na mini motepe yeah, ni, that's the true boss that's the real boss sababu in fact hata ma check zimetoka kwake nini nini wakati tuko na ma meetings yeye ndio anaongea kwa zoom na ma half court zake pale na matai ukim google pale kwa mtandao uangalie ma instagram zake nini unamuona akiendelea na maisha maze ako kwenye eh, BMW fulani hapo anasukuma sukuma town akiende like he's living the life so nobody had any reason to suspect that Tom Motsepe is actually Tabo Besta. Ali was kumia hiyo kazi hapo wakiwa prison for very long until 2022 April. Now in April of 2022 vitu zilianza tuku happen hapa ndani ya prison the prisoners so wenyewe wameongeleshwa the last couple of days when as a attest to the fact that from around mid april tabo besta a guy who was always a lone wolf in prison anakaga tu nika ko depressed 24/7 ndio kufungiwa all of a sudden alikuwa tu na this you know bubble of joy alikuwa tu kidogo mambo iko sawa ever smiling yani very good moods then a few people wenye waliongea na yeye alikuwa anashinda akiwaambia you know what guys i'm not here for long guys i might be leaving guys yeah you just watch i'm leaving guys so sasa anashinda huyu jamaa anasema nini wewe uko hapa for life una live unaenda wapi hakuna mali unaenda bro why are you excited but jamaa we maintain tuku yake kila kitu iko swafi Come 22nd of April 2022. All of a sudden, Tabo Besta anatolewa huko kwa cell yenye anaishi na wagenge, anapelekwa wapi? Solitary confinement. Reason ati ameamua tu kukuwa nruli, eh, ana, ana matantra muko mbaya, anafanya ma, mazingaombwe. So wamemtoa kwa watu, wamempeleka wapi? Eh, eh, solitary confinement. But ukiuliza watu around the prison At some point Tabo Besta alikama kakuwa unruly. Wanakuambia zi. In fact this guy had changed for the best. Alikuwa mzuri sana, ever smiling. Kila mahali mambo iko sawa, very positive. Hii story ya kumpeleka solitary confinement, I swear we do not understand it. But it happened on 22nd of April. Alitolewa kwa ile seli ya majamaa, akapelekwa wapi? Solitary confinement. Now piga hapo karibu wiki moja until 3rd of May. 2022 when the guards wakiwa shughuli zao wana discover moshi inatoka wapi kwa seli ya Tabo Besta pale solitary confinement before wa organize organize sasa imeacha kuwa moshi imekuwa a full blown inferno the cell is on fire wamekuja wamepambana na hii moto kweli kweli eventually wamemaliza ku extinguish wana discover mattress na Tabo Besta chini ni kama alikuwa anajifunika na hii mattress kujikinga na nini na ile moto so of course mazee report zinapigwa teke teke corona wanakuja wanachukua mwili hapo wanaipeleka pale kwa morgue wanataka kufanya nini autopsy wakaenda wakafanya mauchunguzi zao nini nini e, finding as jatoka ziko tu mahali na mwili kaekelea wapi kando after a couple of days who shows up at the morgue ku claim body ya mtu wake you guessed right the girlfriend nandipa magudumana nandipa anakuja pale anasema ni aje wadau tabo besta mazee ameenda akiwa jela fulani pale mangao na mkono mwili yake na waomba kwa isani yenu munipatie mwili ya mtu wangu niende nifanye nini niende nizike Of course eh, wanamuuliza eh hey, tutajuaje wewe ndio next of kin nini nini anawaambia anawapiga story safi sana oh boy tulianza ku date tukiwa university si wote eh, na tukapendana of course tuli break up at some point but after kuja prison tuka rekindle love yetu na tumekuwa so much in love in fact story na niuma nipatie ni mweli nikazike So asano na ina mambo hakuna haja kusumbua she's been through a lot as we speak mpatie tu mwili wachaende afanye nini wachaende azike 
Nandipa Magudumana anapatiwa mwili ya Tabo Besta anakimbiza wapi kwenda ku I think kuchoma kwa crematorium na shindwa aja tosheka na hii kuchomeka imechomeka hapa sai anyway so kufika huko ai blanda nini me happen before amalizane na mwili mama ya ta, tabo besta anatokea anaambia nani pa oh, oh ah ah wacha wewe sikujui sijawahi kuona so uwezi claim mwili ya nani ya mtoto wangu tafadhali nirudishie mwili ya huo mtoto mimi mwenyewe nda shughulika vile ntazi ntazika hii mvutano mvutano si inakuja inafikia authorities authorities wanafanya nini ah bas before msikizane nani anazika leteni hii mwili wacha tuirudishe wapi kwa mog na mwili ikatolewa pale ikarudishwa kwa mog until hao watu wa hii familia wajipange wajue ni nani anafanya nini anachukua mwili ya tabo besta nice Nandi pa magudumana amekaa hapo akaona okay this is a, as good as done wacha tuendelee na nini tuendelee na maisha na yeye akaendelea na maisha yake kama kawa it does not take long until photos of one nandi pa magudumana akiwa kwa street na a gentleman who looks eerily like tabo besta start surfacing online picha tu zinatokea from somewhere hey hey what down ni muona nani nandi pa ebu look at the guy on the right umse si nani kasha anza unaona chini ya maji tu kitu imeanza ehe ehe authorities wakaambiwa oya sisi kambe kwa mkiona na ma social media za umresh ebu angalieni huu jama we might be wrong But this guy looks like Tabo Besta kabisa alika nini amefuga hapo ana nywele but sahi ako na caponytail but angalia tu hiyo facial struck you just look at that person keenly so of course ma police wana drug drug sababu debate pia kwa ground si concrete si, si conclusive ati huu ni Tabo Besta sababu report ilishatoka kusema Tabo Besta ali ban kwa sale so ana pia aje bwana kwa nini Jesus so hiyo story ikaanza kukanyagiwa ikaanza kukanyagiwa until recently a chick akiwa supa ana shop akaangalia hivi akaona oh my god this is my idol nani nandipa akatoa simu very fast kacha 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 akapiga nandipa mapicha clear unajua hizo picha zingine za kwanza zilikuwa gani za mbali mbali nini nini sahi akona yani no lens safi akampiga picha safi then akakana sababu she was such a huge fan of Nandipa yani ilikuwa tu a sense of pride kukuwa na picha ya Nandipa kwa simu yake maze so akamaliza shughuli zake na akaenda home usiku wakati amebangaiza tu mtaa akasema let me let me just look at my photos ai nilichukua picha kali kali hey, hey. oh my god Nandipa ah, wait a minute guys Huyo hapa kanda si Tabo Besta. Like in, very clear. Akauliza wase kwa familia, huyu mjamaa hapa kando si Tabo. Kila mtu anaangalia, "Oh my, yeah, it's him. It's him." Hakuna kupoteza wakati. Picha ikawekwa kwa mtandao. Guys, I think Tabo Besta ako area. Ako area the person who has been raping our women, killing them. Sai ya kona nani nandi pa wana manga manga kwa street zile picha za zamani zikaanza kutokea tena yes tuliwaambia mko mnasikia huo jamani tabo eh, besta you see we were right so makarawa kona eh, okay yeah hapa kuna ngori luckily sababu ile mvutano mvutano ya between familia oh nandi pa na mama ya tabo mwili haijafanya nini haijazikwa so wakarudi wapi pale kwa mog wakaambia wase nao 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 Najua kuna nonsense mulifanya hapo mkisema ati ni postmorte na eh, scratch that start afresh here is uh, uh, tabo besters uh, profile mnaona height yake kila kitu nini nini uh, nataka mtu tabitishie mtu thibitishie ya kwamba hii cops mko nayo hapa indeed ni tabo besta sababu sasa hivi le mambo iko very high chances you might have the wrong person So of course wakaingia shughuli nini nini wakafanya mambo yao wakafanya mambo yao wakamaliza ripoti inatoka ho ho, ho. wameuma nje the person who's lying here first of all is 4 foot 
Tabo Besta is 5 foot 10. Ame mpiga na inch na ini foot. Foot mzima. So there is no way. Sababu hata kama mtu akichomeka ana shrink, bones as shrinking. So there is no way. Huyu mtu amelala hapa ni Tabo Besta. Wakapiga upekuzi wakapata um jamaa amededi akona a gaping wound kwa kichwa meaning before a dead alitandikwa irungu or something kwa kichwa um jamaa wakimpima ndani kwa lungs there is no evidence of smoke inhalation meaning he was already dead by the time this fire ilikuwa inam consume so it was very clear crystal clear that the body that was lying at the mog was not Tabo Besta. Makarao wakasema twende kazi arrest that person ambaye anatembea tembea na Nandi pana wao Nandi pa sasa ni person of interest muuleteni hata ye. Of course wange ka hapo wangoje kuletwa no wakaanza kufanya nini kutoka mbio. So from my research I think Nandi pa is not really South African she is Zimbabwean. At some point alienda kahaya gari akaenda kaificha huko Zimbabwe but igari ilikuwa na traka so aliipata na wakakuja mpaka kwake wakamwambia ni agent ulikuwa umeficha hii gari Zimbabwe form eh sijui hapo walimalizana aje but hiyo gari ilipotea around the time walikuwa wanataka ku sneak Tabo Besta out of prison so Nandipa na Tabo Besta wakajiita meeting wakajiambia we are not nyenjes we cannot just sit here and wait to be arrested so tutoke mbio kaende sana Teke teke vuka boda ingia wapi ingia pale ze Zimbabwe teke teke wameshikana na rafiki fulani wao um, rembo limesahau jina yake wanavuka vuka tu maboda huko wako na mapassport kama 15 unashindwa ni za kazi gani wameingia wapi Tanzania huko pia wame manuva manuva wame manuva manuva sasa wametembea tembea sasa wako wapi 10 kilometers to the border of Kenya and Tanzania they were on their way to Kenya Tungekuwa tunaingia nao mabaa hapa Kilimani if it were not for news spreading like wildfire that these two people were on the run na ni watu wako wanted vibaya sana so of course sababu reports zimetembea tembea walikuwa spotted wapi Tanzania na mtu akapiga ripoti very fast akaambia watu ni aje hey majama wenu tumewaona hey, wale mnatafuta na wako hapa wanataka kuvuka boda waingie wapi waingie Kenya so kidogo kidogo the Tanzanian authorities wakakuwa notified wakaambiwa take take hawa tu wasijaribu wako wangapi sasa wako watatu wasijaribu kuingia Kenya so Tanzanian authority Tanzanian authorities waka come take take and they were nabbed pale kwa boda aki walikuwa mbakisha like 10 kilometers wavuke waingia hapa so wakashikwa take take wakakuwa extradited back to South Africa na uh, the last time niliangalia story um, uh, kesi yao bado inaendelea kusikizwa E, vitu zimeanza kufichuka deadly turns out that kulikuwa na accomplices kwa history ya Tabo Besta na Nandipa and their accomplices were Nandipa's father and one of the guards at the Mangaung prison turns out ule mtu walipatikana amechomeka huko he was actually murdered na wale watu wanashukiwa kufanya hiyo kazi ni Nandipa's father na huyu guard wa Mangaung prison. So hawa wili pia persons of interest wamebandoliwa ndani ya hiyo kesi na I think as of now the case is still ongoing but hapo sioni wakipona including our very beautiful doctor naona akienda kukula maharagwe pia yeye. Ni story imegonga vichwa vya habari sana. Eh, currently eh, today as I tell you the story the case is still ongoing. Tunangoja kusikia outcome Eh, outcome ikitokea of course nitawagusia niwaambie ni vipi kuli happen and that my people is the story of Tabo Besta and Miss Nandipa mag, mag, magudamana magadumana ana majina ngumu huo mdemo eh ndio ina kayo design <laughs> yep kama kuna information unaweza kuwa umekutana nayo hapo na sijaisema feel free ingia hapo kwa comments weke weke hapo wacha tujadiliane eh hey, let's solve this case hata sisi mawakili wa kurugenzi ama namna gani bas imekuwa true sana wadau na tambo wa deadly tuonane wiki ijayo i'll see you peace